Did you work in your sister just start the picks and bans, I guess? Oh, uh, probably shouldn't have my micro muted. No, now it's just like empty, empty words. Um, yeah, okay, let's wait. The planning phase, the most important phase of all phone picks and bands. They actually should rename picks and uh, peace and bees to peace, peace and bees. Or p peace and bees or something. P uh, peas and bees. Yeah, p peas and bees. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> I'm recording, that's hi YouTube. Uh, no, uh, okay, Athena ban. Um, okay, yeah, they, they actually recognized that Smoke did well on Athena. That's that's a respect ban. Not gonna lie. That, that Athena was an issue. Okay, Toss ban. Yeah, they're probably gonna pick it up, maybe. Maybe not, we, we didn't have the race game with it, so at least we're gonna see two different teams this time. <coughs> and let's see when what they ban next they probably just ban one of the usual candidates there wasn't anything else we ran that would have been like wow I, I don't think they would respect when it's a cat I don't think that like Smoke definitely did the best performance of that last game with Athena uh, okay let me sh let me see what they banned. They, they don't use all the bank time for a second ban. Okay, Raven. Makes sense. Played lo loves Raven. They don't want to play it. They might go for a red again. It didn't. wasn't gr like amazing, but it wasn't. But it was pretty solid. So our next ban, unless we want to take away like a counter ban, I, I think we just probably ban. Terra, maybe? Okay, Achilles. Yeah, uh, I, I suggested banning Terra, I think. Uh, no, wait, someone, uh, I think we agreed it wasn't an issue. Yeah, we agreed. Uh, I, 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 don't, I don't think it has to be an issue. I don't also think, uh, or I think that Achilles is probably also not like the must ban in that situation, but like we're gonna see what they pick up. Might as well just p ban away the Nemesis support. Support, we know this. Okay. Yeah, but you know that from the first pick, or. Oh no. Okay. 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 Yeah, that. I mean, if you don't know it's an M support in the end, then it it does affect picks and bans, obviously. Yeah, yeah. If you know yeah. that's like something they run consistently, then it's a different thing. Okay, we, we treat us as the the uh, jungle it should be. Mm. Even though it's gonna, but like we have to put it in perspective, because if you if you think it's a jungle and it ends up being a support, then picks and bans just get completely screwed over. Yeah. Okay, Terra, Yanis. Just your. I think. Uh, I don't remember what they picked. Yeah. yeah. Yanis is definitely really strong. It's really safe. We're good on it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Our cup was pretty good this game. And yeah, our strategy with Terra, like applying the strategy. I what what Terra what, what really strategy well. with Terry want to apply? You press four so, win game. Uh, <laughs> no, I mean like the start. So the start that we ran last. Ah, okay. We could run this with Terra and probably go a lot smoother than it did in previous. Okay, weeks. that's so. A flex for for mid uh, um ADC. Probably ADC though, but. They don't have to give it away. Either okay, okay, I like this actually. So that puts so almost guaranteed into mid. Mm -hmm. If they lock that in, it could also be switched up. Like that, that's definitely okay. That okay, that's yeah. The problem with Ezer right now, probably just ruins her. 
Yeah, yeah no. I, I guess. I, I mean, you could have picked up. It's, it's still Hachiman Stim does both. It's probably a bit more likely that Hachi's ADC and Soul. If that's banned, I mean, if it's a Nemesis support, then probably Soul is gonna be pretty awesome because they have double slow. I feel like Ease just loses the game if the game fast mid game. We'll see. So our our, ba our pick should be jungle here, right? Uh, I mean we could go hunter if you don't want to pick out jungle, but like they they can ban junglers on on in mass in second phase. Uh, yeah, we pick. I I, I kind of assume we pick jungle here because uh, like no. hunter we have probably more options than hunter. Oh wait, okay. So they they gonna ban jungles here. And where we end up again? Was it not there yet? Uh, Hui. Yeah. Oh, that's epic. So, so Hui. We're playing Hao Yi and another ADC where we have rain too. Um, I mean, who we're you between Hao Yi and Uli. That's right. Hao Yi. Yeah. I, I get Hui. Hui Terra. I mean, if if you. Yeah. The, the, there's a natural synergy between buff clears, where you just have the triple bounce easy setup if you want to. And, and the ults. The ults. The I mean, ults are not so well now. We will proc the shit out of your ult. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but not if they're, if they're in team. Then they don't proc stuff. Mm -hmm. Let's see. They, they banned. Yeah, they banned circuit. Okay. Actually, that that's kind of a, a respect ban. They banned circuit before. Uh, maybe don't want to see in the solo. I mean, played as I it in jungle, so it does not matter as much. I don't want to see. I I, I assume as, uh, that will be a t dodgy ban. Okay, we banned Fafnir Artio. Okay. I don't see that much Fafnir. Okay, that's not... We that's were red, then. undecided, actually. So mathematically, which would be worse in the situation, the current comp? Fafnir or Ardia? They already have protection tread and can alter auto-attack. Which would be worse for their... Which would be better for their I mean, I mean, Fafnir would make them pretty... Pretty strong at sieging, yes. I don't know if Ardia... Okay, Susie. No, I mean, we were between banning Fafnir and banning Sh And there was a really big debate about it. So I just wanted your opinion on it. I think Fafnir is definitely, like, the... If you have a Hachi, so... I mean, just so and Fafnir alone go hand in hand. And, like, that's so much DPS on structures. Even with her nerfs, like, Fafnir just makes him irrelevant. Mm -hmm. uh, more about the Susano pickup, so... I mean, Darji, I guess, drops a bit out of favor, and Susie should be doing alright against Soul. Probably better than Darji does. That's on but that's doing Chen, okay. I mean, they needed Frontline, and Kabrakken, and that's not really Frontline. I, I, they're lacking definitely a bit Frontline here. I mean, Swing Chen, mm -hmm. they had probably a bit more, but... Once they started, we started thinking Nemesis that. Yeah, oh, we, I, I mean, I didn't think now with the Hunbats pick up, like, now it should be, I mean, how it should be, would be, uh, should be, would, but like, if it's Ching Chen, they could have made a, su a support, but Kebrekken support? I mean, I guess Hachi Kebrekken su uh, dual lane could be pretty scary, that's, that's a burn, but, I mean, Kebrekken, I don't know, I, if it gets, end up being Nemesis support, it kind of comes a bit surprising, but our comp is like set up, so we don't, we couldn't even adjust at that point anymore. So it was a smart draft. Yeah. If that was their strategy from the beginning, if it was, I mean, I don't really think you go into a match and think, oh yes, let's do flex nemesis into support. And we want that Hunbats now. Cause I don't know why you would want to have an Hunbats if you have a Nemesis instead. It's just like a from the begin plan, Hunbats does match pretty purely into Terra. 
I yeah, think. I was gonna say, it didn't, it didn't work well for them. Fe Fear, no e Fear No Evil is almost guaranteed to proc all five Terra Ults. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, and, uh, that's, that's almost their sentence. Mm -hmm. But we'll see. And then, yeah, he um, wanted the balloon, I okay, wanted the balloon. I want to see in this game. I'm not in yet, but. Alright, I'm going yeah. in. Yeah, loading yeah. in. Um, what I want to see here is Susie being being used. I mean, especially the moment it's realized it's never the support. I don't really think. I mean, Ballona, Capricorn, uh, not not probably also my strong suit about knowing that matter, but I, I would assume that Capricorn has a slight edge. Mm, he... No. Because Bologna just like. Ones and he takes so long More trying to get his awesome. one off on her because the block stack applies to Cabrack and one. Yeah, I know and that, but like he still can. And one. Yeah, I mean he can always interrupt. Clear. It's not. I don't think that's like the important matchup. It's not like you're gonna farm kills in that lane. Yeah. Right. Meet me at one fifteen. So what? Hachi is going. You guys hear me? Meet me at. Yeah. Where everyone meet at one fifteen. Okay. Pre game, yeah. Okay. Yeah, pre game. Alright. Five. Eight. I'm not there. I had to okay. rewind. Um one fifteen now. Oh wait. Uh, that was the pre pre game. Fuck I hate when that Yeah, the thing is as my key bindings are off. I cannot even like uh, rewind it with my mouse. I have to do everything manually. Okay, I'm at 115 per game now. Okay, uh, Mikhail, are you there? Yeah, yeah. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Okay. Let's see. I should have ordered. Wait, that's a double assassin. Okay. You said that's you said that's uh, Nemesis support. That's a double jungle then. It's it's not a support, it's a double jungle. Yeah, yeah it's double jungle. That, that's that's a different beast. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, I, I, we I, didn't know she was going to attack. Yeah, I, 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 get, I get that, but like, yeah, that, that makes... I guess I wanted to try it out. There, there are strategies in place for double jungle. And... I mean, I still think the our, our kill potential is on the Nemesis, like getting her down. Susie should destroy her most of the time. I guess when Butts could be a target, Soul is always not not a great target to gank. Like, yeah, we want to uh, um, kill the Nemesis, and we want to. Uh... I know one of the reasons why I picked Susano was because he can chase um, their ADC and his ulti. Okay. Um, grouping? Yeah, that's that. So there was no version on Nemesis, so we don't know what she's doing yet. Yeah, exactly. That's... So we're... So she is probably just starting to solo in camps? Mm-hmm. And yeah. then... He starts, he starts red. As... And we still went with the same plan. We just went, we were gonna go clear on spawn. So we'd go do that. Okay, that's obviously not, not the greatest thing when you give Hachi solo farm for free. Okay, <laughs> you, you got uh, good god there. Let, let's see how we respond. I, that's definitely. That, that's a decent surprise strategy. Like, but did you see the clear that we like? The... Uh, I assume you do the right clear, so yeah. I I, I was more what looking at that nemesis now. Uh, what's they doing? Okay, okay. you better not get stolen away by that heavenly banner. Thanks. <laughs> like if, if he get if he stores that away, um, that's GG. Yeah, that would have been huge. That that would have been GG. I mean, yeah. like I I would have been tilted by that. We but. Okay, um, okay, mid, I don't like that mid camp attempt, okay, he gets one, he shouldn't have gotten one, um, so why do you think what wrong with that? 
But mid camp, uh, you just don't do that right side to mid camp if the if the jungler was on right side, because the jungler who arrives mid camp pretty much always loses. Yeah. Like the best thing you probably can do is kill one of the mid camps and reset. It's usually what works best. Okay, that Hunbat should have aggressed that. I mean, they end up trading, but that that somersault. That killed him. He, he jumped in. Now Nemesis comes in for the second gank. And this is the first time we've seen Nemesis. Yeah. And now there has to be communication. Somebody has to check her item. Cause mm -hmm. now yeah, we talked about this when we discovered she went was um, she had assassin with double double assassin. Yeah, because she's just still back camp, so. Speed buff has to be protected of double junglers. It means they have one jungler for their own jungle and one jungle for the opposing jungle, or they have one jungle per side, which is equally bad. So we have to have defensive wards, and we have to make sure we give up one side of our jungle and kill always one of the junglers at any time. Like that's yeah. the best reaction we can have to it. We cannot so afford. We get our speed, but we lose our red hair. We start. We froze wave, but. And we were trying yeah, to keep the, the, the thing is, ahead. the thing is, there needs to be defensive wards, and then you have to decide you want to kill the one or the other jungle, especially if they stay side on side. If they double in wait, uh, it probably gets you probably just trade sides, then you go for the other side because one jungler can out clear two jungle or can compete with two junglers as long as they're in different sides of the jungle. That yeah, I mean, I guess we never played against that before, so. But defensive was is a must-have. You have to know where both junglers are. Two junglers tracking is definitely not as easy as one. So, so we want more. So to start what? What? I mean, I, we could have probably freezed out the, especially with two junglers. We probably should start freezing in front of our tower and do lane. Cause we we yeah, get. I know we froze the. We lost our red buff. Way yeah, 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 but yeah. I mean, Hachi is hard to freeze out, but you can block his range shots, so he's not the greatest for it. The thing is, if he ever, if we ever step up there, up to two junglers that can gank. Why then? It's still just a two v two situation. If both junglers gank, that's a three v two. I'm, I'm still. Interested that it didn't really hit anything but the the mid trade. There, there could have been so much more going on. They just focus on farming with double jungle. They don't even got a head yet. They have 300 gold lead. That's basically wave to wave and two red buffs. But like it's less than two red buffs. 1k XP. That's imp that's relevant. Like especially on support, quote unquote. We have that level difference. It's probably like half a level. Te okay, no, it's more than. Wow, okay. Terra with us now, this is almost two, one and a half levels plus. Okay, okay. Now, that's the way it's speaking. Just capitalize on junglers being alone in your jungle. That's that's exactly what we needed. On the other side, we, we lost solo here. Um, we're probably not even going to lose blue buff for it. Okay, they go for it. Okay. But yeah, that, that's what's gonna happen. We, we cannot do more than trade. Against double jungle, they they will have less front line. They ah uh, played. I didn't like that one. That one Batso is a bit different place, and he's dead. That's that's um, just a rush of the moment. Um, you cannot contest that one. He gets out. Uh, that's that's fine. Sometimes luck is part of the job. We we have a Terra, we have the better endgame, we have Yannis, we have Terra, we have, I mean, we have one Hunter. They have more structure damage, but like, if Kebraken is dead, they don't have any frontline, and they cannot tank structures at all. Mm -hmm. They don't have sustain, so they cannot even make up for it. Like the only sustain they ha have, I guess, is t a Soul one. And Nemesis shield. Uh, joke on joke. Okay. Mm, solo side. I respect that defensive ult. Um, still a good gank. I I think to pressure out. 
just make sure they don't can they cannot do whatever they want. We do, still don't have any defensive wards. I don't need to see against double jungle. I don't need to see two wards at their uh, at their tier one tower line. I guess it's here full full rotations uh, tailing. Uh, but then you might as well ward behind the tier two tower and have them spot every rotation between jungle sides. Yeah, Nemesis again a red buff. That's just on cooldown. Let's kill her for... Oh, that pull was great. Oh, I like that pull. Yeah, that's, that, that capitalized on it, but like Terra Old saves the day here. Yeah, that's, that, they don't have any right to be in our jungle with two people. Like, and that's basically the whole the whole farming lead, the whole buff steals they got, That that's basically it here. Yeah, that was a discussion probably till it runs out. You lose a bit of time. Yeah. <laughs> I guess if everybody reacts a bit faster, you might cancel claim it. Not a big deal though. Uh, yeah, what, what do you lose? A few, a few basic attacks at that point. Okay, I don't s see that kill attempt. Like. I just didn't see it. It was a bit of weird aggression. Okay, try to turn it around. Hui, oh, yeah, had great shots. <laughs> but yeah, that uh, the commitment was weird. Especially we don't have any vision offensively. I mean, we I said we shouldn't have any, but there are five wards out at the point. One does the spawn. There were six. Uh, we cannot ward everything, and if they want to invade us, we have to capitalize on them. Uh, I guess it was a good angle for Terra to get in, so... Okay. Susie damage, he probably trades out kills here. Uh, that that Diana's ult needs to be communicated. If it, I mean, it was a bit deplaced, but... If that Diana's ult is known, and both people know, like, it... Or well, like Plate knows that Zidane's ult is coming. He probably has a better shot at escaping that Jan's ult was good thought through or was thought nicely, but like not executed in the way it needed to be. Like the attempt though. Okay. On Bud's ult McKay probably dies here. Yeah. Poor I mean, <laughs> the only way you would survive is jumping over a wall here, but there was no wall to jump over, so... I guess if you jump into their back camps, you might survive it. But that's the only way. <laughs> like, then you have yeah. to run like behind the tier 1 tower, maybe hope that no jungle is coming. I didn't coming. think you would come to the back camps with speed up. I thought he would have went straight to that. But yeah. I guess he caught me out. Yeah. It, but like the escape route, the only escape route we had was so intuitive that there's not much. So we got another Hunbat's ult. Oh, the plate actually secures the speed blue buff. Um, and we we have solo side tower almost. That's that's nice. And they 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 have a lot of warding though. Like they probably out water still. I guess they play double jungle. Yeah, they they are out waters. Well, not really. Like, kind of. It feels like they have a bit more wards on the map. Um, okay, so Nemesis didn't try to invade Red on cooldown again after dying twice for it. So they, they kind of have to drop down a bit. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah. They, they, they played the double jungle and had the first three levels of the game an advantage. But with with every level terror gets basically we we making sure that the advantage is just crumbling. Um, okay, that that was lucky. Hunbat's ult go, goes over to the top. Good aggression. Uh, oh, then again, Hunbat's ult bit better placed. Okay, wait. okay with the hot dice. Everybody's low here. Like you have to be careful. Cabrakton rotating earlier. That's that's a dead plate beer. Um, yeah. 
We cannot really get Importer, uh, Pyro or Gold Fury out of it because everybody's low. <coughs> There's also a lot of gra great who yield. The Ricochet was also kind of lucky. Why didn't he commit for that kill? Wow, okay. Kibrahim just stopped his Tremors two ticks before kill. Maybe, maybe not. But yeah, good good. nobody dying here, that's that's really good for us. We have five kills on play, that's where play shines. Like, he is even in farm, maybe, but he got five kills and he's feeling himself. He, he will do a lot more for the team this game. As he already had last game, so Tradition Assassin definitely helped here. And that they didn't have any front line helps you too, because that's a lot of easy ganks. So, Solo Side Tower, I want to see that thing fall. You, you could just group over to for Gold Fury side and just have one uh, get the tower. Uh, Steer in terms of the oracles. Drop drop on plate. He he lives another time. He also again defensively used for utility. That definitely looks better than the toss game from last time. Like there's a sword behind the ultimates. Maybe not for damage. The the warlocks is actually ahead this time, 20 stacks more. Both war went for a similar kind of bit. He also has two levels. I don't get that God Fury force. Oh, you also have to drop it. Go go to old again. Like the old eels look a lot really good. The positioning is a different thing. Um. It should be at least two kills here. I don't don't want to see less than two kills here. Yeah. Okay. Now here we're saying to go on go. Yeah. This that ha has to. This has right. to be. Now everyone's listening. Now everyone's listening here. Oh. Now we gotta go up here. There was like. I, um, you lose uh, probably like, like twenty percent health on it, and nobody's checking the fucking backside. I mean, it's a good terrible. Oh, good thing you saw that one. Oh, if play didn't didn't stand that way, and didn't see that nemesis come around, or you or you guys know as a whole, this could have been bad. Terra Wall was pretty nicely, actually, probably not even really intended to block off the nemesis, but like it did. Uh, but the Gold Fury call, Mikhail's zoning there, I don't need to. I said I want to see two kills out of the team fight. And we got two kills. So, two people low, two people dead, get gold. And you have your solo zoning, have your solo zoning. We don't need a Janus in front of our solo nana. Yeah, that's what we were saying. I mean, we could have gone gold for you slightly faster, we didn't know it would be contested. Now, now the, here, Shia uh, really, really got for a risky call, uh, not backing. I mean, that's what you do if you if you support, quote unquote support. Um, also interesting build, Masamune tank boots. I mean, that's a lot of protection for for offensive stats. Uh, next will be Soth. He needs these arrows. Like they they don't get away with the good Yannis ult. Probably should. Okay, yeah, scourge kill is enough. If that if that's not kills there, uh, you have to drop it. Okay. Terrell is out. Alright, this was a miscommunication. Yeah, that's... Uh... He just, he put the wall so close, and then he just pushed up. Ouch. I mean, I, I guess if you all, CMO was in mid still, you probably could have burned Kebraken if you didn't risk trading. Good Ricochet. Like, nice. I also like recognize a lot better this game. Like that looks looks a lot more warmed up. I say some sick ricochet is played again low HP. He gets away with this stuff. Like he gets he gets a lead early. He gets away. It's like the third time he goes low HP out of a fight. And this time he does not get punished for lazy backing or like he, not lazy backing, but like he is not lazy backing, so he cannot get punished with. <laughs> Yeah, we, we got solo tower, we got mid tower. 
enemy buffs coming, like every buff in the game is just coming up or just made to farm around. I want to see at least all four buffs being around for the next fight. Going for the steel. Okay, they're, they're going for red. It's a safe steel here. If he, if he goes here for the tower, okay, he does not. Good, 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 good. If he goes for the tower there, he is probably dead. Uh, taking that route. So, okay, vision, we have sent rewards in the both aggressive spots. We we have now pushed Nemesis back so we can have aggressive wards. They don't, won't go solo and wait anymore 70 minutes into the game. Nemesis is level 11. She's not gonna in solo and wait buffs anymore. The project double jungle definitely was punished. Mm -hmm. Not perfectly, but still good. So, solo side. On, on tier two really for order. So pyro call drop. Cabrakton is going rampage and not hitting him much. Okay, Hunbats is called. I don't want to see any grouping. Um, what did I just say? I don't remember. I, I, something I didn't want to see, but it still works. I mean, it wasn't a follow up for the Hunbats ult, but. Everybody going through a portal, when Bats is blinking in. Okay. Um, okay, Cabrakton is just taking all the attention here. You probably have to reset, you might get Pyro. Another good hatch uh, who yield. But, you're kinda low, unless you want to group up for Terra Sustain, you probably should. White Tower Siege, Terra Sustain now coming. Not making the big impact, but his speed buff coming up. Just one sees. Uh, you probably should get that. <laughs> I, I don't know. Oh, okay. That's, that's got Hunbat speed. That's a free pyro. I guess it could have been an FG, but... Okay. Works for the moment. Now backing, I need to see wards. I need to see five sentry wards in the inventory. I mean, two didn't back yet, but I see still three. How much gold in hand has played? Yes, 700 gold in hand. Why is there no sentry ward? He's 9 and 1, 8. He couldn't finish his next I he couldn't go for the next item. He had seven hundred gold in hand when leaving the base. Where's the sent reward? Okay. Enough about that. Um Item wise uh Mika, you go pretty ham on the physical defense this game. That's much of an issue. Like I, I, I get the, I get the um, height of the Nemean Lion against double basic attack, but Mystica on top, just just to bully more. I, I, I mean, I, getting mid guard on the Nemean Lion seems counterproductive. I guess that. But okay. What else? Could I... No, he's not here. Um. Okay, wait, let's split push. We have two people left. We, we cannot possibly fight something in right. Like, I guess we can, can survive a bit, but he gets no form and collapsed. <laughs> uh, are I really doing this? Uh, oh god. Is this really the same team you fight the last game? <laughs> really? <laughs> they, they just dropped everything. Fucking single. They dropped four ultimates. Okay, now the kid played. They dropped four kills on re. I don't. Okay. I, I kind of feel like we have to rewind this fight because I'm just like, what just happened? Do you want to rewind it? I, I think we should rewind this fight because. Okay. Like. Um, what time you want to go to? I mean, I'm I gonna skip back. I don't know. It was like, wh why is that fight? Why is that a thing? Why? What? 
Okay. Um, what time does it start? Uh, I uh, see. When Mikkel starts to uh, do, well, we have two people fighting over. So that I'm at 2008. What do you want? So let's do 2020. Okay. Yeah, that's where it starts. I'll tell you when I get there. Okay, I'm at 2020. Mikael, did you get back? I don't know if you're in that. No. I mean, I guess uh, we could go on half speed if you want to. Yeah, let's go on. Let's go on half speed. I, um, it's just so much stuff going on, and I can't believe what I see here. It's like, what? Do you want quarter speed? No, no, no. Wait. wait. All right, who are you on right now? I, I'm over the cup. I haven't right, started here. Okay. You want to count or? Okay. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Okay. Tra trading blows. So far, they all commit here. Four people. We have two people left. So. Getting Mikael out of here is probably the best call. He he also basically in place. When when he calls to fight, there's a call to fight. So Hun Batsud gets burned for a single person. They blow everything onto that sword. Sword expires early. Nemesis ult down, Hun Bats ult down. So I don't know why he has the commit to fight in a 2v5. They they blow most. Terra and Hui rotating over. Bellona almost gets out, gets killed now. Plate is really aggressive in, so CMO, because they committed to a 2v5. Plate gets blown up, now Hui comes in late, gets the ricochet, gets speeds off. Terra ults over, don't think he even hits CMO. So, now good kill, good and uh, recognized on sleep ties as a solo kill. Basically in a team fight, but he gets a trade. He almost gets as well the Hun Bats. Shell comes just a few frames too late. But I mean, besides that, this fight was an absolutely clusterfuck. Yeah. I mean, if if anything, the correct play is here to get Bellona out, get her portal out, and leave. They just blow. Three, two ultimates directly, and three ultimates in total. Uh, four ultimates in total on a Bellona. Who survived that? Like he, he died after he took the portal out and got like chased down. But walk, the walking down, over you know, here, I, I just mark it here. Walking over as as Janus, putting the long range portal out of the situation. And you you trade one for four ultimates or one for two ultimates at least. Have you, have you do land upgrade? We just got a tier 2 tower. I mean, actually, we can go on normal speed. I'm I'm pausing at uh, 2130. Ah, uh, okay. Just a second. Get to. I'm yeah. at 2131. You ready? Yeah. I mean, uh, one, And go back on normal speed. Three. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Five, four, three, two, go. Okay. Uh, yeah, we, we we have that massive fight. I mean, that shouldn't have been even a fight. I don't even know why why Hefnet. Uh, by the way, good solo kill there, Simo. But so lucky there wasn't. A I I don't know. We get a tier two tower. We don't have two people in lane. So. Now I get behind the fight, engaging with ultimate here to getting the Kabrakken in combat. Getting a free kill on, on Kabrakken here. Janus ult to rotate in. I mean, free kill was probably a bit hasty, but he's still dead. But yeah, that, that's that's why we win a fight, now we can force FG, we, we just need wards. Flight has a ward now. Okay. But Janus just came out of base with no wards, probably a bit rushed. No, no vision, no button zoning, okay. A bit on face, like a sword or something could still steal it. Still, we, we get it. 
Um, tier two last tier 2 tower falling, then we can start with base siege. We have Terra ult up. We have Huyi ult up, so basically nothing should be able to stop us here. They trade towers pro likely, having Yannis over to stop the split push. Would work, I... I don't know if that was a planned move. Unless they do Phoenix, there's nothing. Like, we have a... We have two ultimates that just guarantees us a Phoenix if we want to. Never suspect. So Janus is now on the wrong side of the map. Focus on kills here. Phoenix didn't took any damage for the last couple of seconds. Forts now. Took a bit longer than needed. Go to E ult, covers the whole side of the map. Get out. Janus ult is coming. Probably just... The calls again to fight. We're losing a hunter here, so I don't see a Titan or a second Phoenix. Probably dropping out there, resustaining with Terra, and getting for the second Phoenix. Third kill. Okay, four on four kills, I might see something different, but whole bus trades out. So we have minions. I have the deer side, I guess. And then that's game, but yeah, I don't know, don't know if that's a tournament game and not a scrim. Reset the fucking fight. Get the phoenix. Reset the stay in the effort Terra. Get the second phoenix, and then repeat. Like, well, GG anyways. You you lose your hunter really early in that fight, so you don't get any chance unless you get the t you get the weaker side what they actually give you. If the, if they reset the fight after getting the Hui out with two or three people alive, you cannot do Titan. You cannot even do a Phoenix. They're all in committed for that fight. You are in committed for the fight. Phoenix was dead, and we had a massive lead. That's uh, won us the game in the end. Mm -hmm. uh, Well, I guess. Okay, let's let's see stats. Terra healing seven, seven k plus. Yeah, Terra. I mean, we we could have used more Terra sustain, but like Terra is not the most sustainy. Builds wise. Yeah, there was no E stuff yet. Not not even fifth item finish. It was relatively early still in the game, like twenty four minutes. Star items not even or blessings not even sold yet on all. Um, so, again, two stats. What do we have here? Yeah, decent slash lines across the board. I mean, recognize his slash line doesn't, definitely doesn't tell the story of this game here. His ultimates were definitely key for winning a lot of these fights. Mm -hmm. The old plan was decent, the ricochets was decent. Um, he traded probably more, uh, at least twice more than he needed for kills. Um, but worked out, he gets the structure damage done. Plane actually has a lot of wards in the end, but leaving pace with 700 gold in hand, not having a sentry when you're about to do FG, and then uh, mid and solo, it's also not not a lot of wards. Like, we, we probably could have used more wards. We got we got the nemesis cause we just was on red buff timer. If they if they would have been more invasive with both junglers, like having like switching left and right or something, then we would have needed a ward or two more in the early stages. Yeah. Okay. I know Macau doesn't like his words. Yeah, when... if he's not dying in lane. It depends. But, would, but... I think normally we get words early in the session. I mean, play has its wards in the end. I guess it wasn't like even supporting what that that much like per se. <sighs> so. Oh no, it's probably because it was double. Usually, the jungle and so. Yeah, but you have double jungle, so. But yeah, he showed where. <sighs> the thing is, if they. <clears throat> If they really go for double jungle and they have left and right invades and even double invades, then you want to have your wards up. They didn't like Hunbats didn't as as I thought it was Nemesis was the invade jungler, 
and Hun Bats was the uh, farm jungler. And yeah. that 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 was kinda safe because that Hun Bats didn't have the biggest impact. He had some decent ultimates. He had two ultimates that definitely could have been much worse if they hit correctly. And then the all in commit on the team f or the one v four or one v five fight with Mikhail. Uh, they, they committed a real lot, and we shouldn't have picked that fight. That was this chance where they could have returned into the game. Like, if they at any point in the game where they could have returned the, uh, the game was when they, when when we gave them multiple kills in a fight, we shouldn't have dropped one. Yeah. Getting a portal from a kill out of there, keeping plate and uh, CMO safe, and. They dropped two ultimates minimum, probably three ultimates for a kill. They didn't get. We got a tier two tower and left. We can group up for the next fight with f four ultimates with a three, especially with team fight ultimates like Terra and Hoi that were missing in that fight. Mm -hmm. We we win the next fight. We get either get the last tier two tower or we get fire giant, and can end the game. Last team fight of the game, uh, pretty much probably should have been a reset. They fought it out, so they dropped the game. They they not lost the game. Obviously, they lost in Phoenix, but they definitely could have extended the game at least for two, three, or five minutes more if they would have not. If if Hafnet wouldn't have forced the issue on trying to get the trade, they got the they got the kill on Huyi, so they had the hunter down. And there are two or three people alive, so they can defend Titan against with just one Phoenix down against four people without Hunter. You can defend a Titan. Yeah. Uh, that's kind of what what they kind of dropped a bit. Besides that, uh, talking about the positive aspects, definitely played shows that he can how much more he can do if he if he not falls behind early. The punishment on Nemesis was really great after we figured out what they was doing. Twice we got kill on her uh, while she was invading red. There were multiple rotations into it. Dual lane synergy looked fine. Terra obviously is still not our strongest god. Like endgame yes, but like lane... She's just always far behind in farm. Like that's just an issue. Especially against the jungle support, who had like 1k or so more. He had like almost two levels ahead when when Hero just hit level 4, he was almost level 6. Had ultimate access, they could have made at least a bit more out of it. I think if we were defended our bot, that, um, that wouldn't have been the same. I mean the first red. Also, if the enemy is not in lane, like, that was the most important thing. We have one opponent in lane, and we went still for the jungle start. We we gave that Hachiman a free first wave. We, we, got, we got a Hunter solo XP and gold on the first wave in the game, uncontested. And that's... But if we didn't, would they start our red buff? Like, would... She, I mean, none of them started at red. Yeah, but, she started yeah, but her, on, on the other hand, on him, she would just start on. the thing is, we, I mean, both options are bad, but I just don't know. I just don't see how why we would give a Hachiman a free lane if he starts alone in lane. It's like it's like um, having the enemy team having their support starting in in do and the the. ADC in mid, and then not having anything to counter the the support solo farming. It's sure they they forced an issue with it, and we didn't know about the what they were going to go. So it's good that we had that imp impression. Mm -hmm. I, definitely not the easiest choice. We might have now a bit more experience about it. Uh, Bro, I think we did a much better job actually. I mean, obviously, we we had played not not getting getting shit on. Their their jungler wasn't as as active as their support, 
So we we had a lot of free time in in so, solo side. We get a few lucky escapes. Some some decent fights. I mean, besides like the calls, like the gold fury call, that being slow, it's not ideal. Yeah, and that's just people in the end. And with the first, where we had in the first game, where we had four people at a low HP Sobek, and all four people missed, but there was no reason that four people were standing around the Sobek to kill him. And yeah. that, that's the same thing. That, that There's just not the need for four people to get one kill. Mm -hmm. If there is like not immediate gain out of it, like if you, if you can reduce the, uh, the time to kill them, okay. But at 200 HP so back, if you juke four ability, four player abilities, you will also juke two player abilities. Uh, don't know, but yeah, definitely a better overall performance. And like I said, uh, both recognize and CMO look a lot cleaner this game. Able to recognize Gore doesn't reflect that. He, uh, the ultimates and these ricochets definitely helped a lot. And a really good game. I mean, oh, depend on the comps, CMO needs to talk uh, about his Janus Oats more. Like, um, also, or, yeah, not uh, for the Outlaw used to do, like when, when he calls where the Janus Oats will hit. Right. For he them, makes it very clear exactly where the play, played, played died once because he didn't know that uh, the Yadus Old was right around the corner. And if he knows that, that it comes flying towards him, then he can adjust the escape plan and might escape a situation he wouldn't have else. Yeah. Um, yeah. He, he did a lot of ults that could have been used for utility, it wasn't really used as a team as much as it could. But then it probably needs to be made more clear, or the team needs more trust into these Yana Swords. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I'm stopping recording then. Stopping.